All right, good afternoon, guys. Um, I'm here again from Investor Daughter Academy idea. Here with the new, uh, our new series of the an apple a week, our futures review based on the five futures product that we focus on. So, if you, uh, what you trade, if the future product you trade that is not included in these five products, please do not hesitate uh, to contact us. Yeah, you can feel free to PM us or comment under this video so uh, we can share more ideas on what you trade if, if you trade any product other than these five products all right so basically today we will review uh, what happened to these five products um, from 19 to 23rd of November and then we come up with an idea how we're gonna trade next week or tomorrow all right so first of all um, if you like us uh, you can continue to subscribe and follow our channel it's free and for now we got YouTube channel telegram channel and also the Facebook page channel all right for follow us to receive more free news and trading ideas about uh, future trading all right so thank you so much for uh to listen to me to today all right so we start with the major market major index so major in index i draw a vertical line here is uh represent monday 19 of november so we can see here major market last week um is trading in a sideway but slightly lower as it uh um candle stay below the middle line for the band so uh sideway to lower but actually it's overall in a triangle sideway trend so wait for a breakout and then we we'll look at the cpo okay crude palm oil crude palm is doing quite good during last week because it's testing a bottom rebound no more lower low okay and break a higher high but unable to sustain ab above the high but it's still okay okay in a testing rebound in last week so it's quite good for the CPO. All right, crude oil will be the hot topic from last week because it create a lower high and lower low and then break around one year low. Okay, we will back to this letter because uh, it already hit our sell signal target. So the uh, the trend now is quite pretty. It's more to bearish. Okay go what happened last week is that um in the sideway we can see here the price hovering around middle life bollinger band um not much trend for the gold so gold is quite boring it's in sideway so and then we look at the us dow john us dow john last week we can see here from monday to friday only one day close week gain and others forming the lower highs and low so it's more to bearish one but not yet break below the critical support at the 240x6 all right so break uh, close below this level will trigger more downside more 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 downside so uh, now it's in a critical level because it's near the support level so we, we watch out whether it can sustain a, above this support or break, break below okay but for last week it's more to bearish so uh, next week we see any changes uh, but for now we still prioritize on the sell signal okay then we analyze the product one by one same as before we look from start from the weekly chart sorry and then look down to the shorter time frame so our re review will suit any type of the trader uh, meaning that if you long term or you short term you can uh, I hope my idea can help you to form your strategy last week uh, net for, for next week. Alright, so the weekly chart also show a triangle pattern. We can see the price is moving around the price range of October 22. So it's already one month that the FKI move in a sideway. They always break up. So it's forming a triangle pattern. So triangle pattern we watch for breakup whether it's close above here or below here to determine the next direction all right 
uh, but it's slightly bearish for the weekly chart because it's still below MACD zero line and below 50 RSI. And then if you look at the daily chart, also the same, but testing re rebound now, we can see here testing re rebound, but it's more to bearish. Uh. Okay, sideway to lower, sideway to lower, also testing the near the support level. Okay, 1655 here. Then we look at the short term trend. Short term trend also the same. Triangle pattern, wait for a breakout. So if you are a trend trader, so not much signal for the FKLI for next week. Because it still require a breakout to, de to determine the next direction. But if you in range trading, you can uh, trade in range in between 1660 to 1750, something like that. Okay, can focus on trade in between this zone. Alright, so from daily chart, we can see a potential double bottom rebound signal here. You see, forming a W but not yet conf confirmed, uh, at least got to close a a above this 1728.5, which is giving it a round number 1730. So meaning that FKRI close above 1730, MACD like that time uh, likely to break above zero and then the Bollinger Band likely to expand upside. So this is the first level we need to watch out. Close above 1730 will trigger a rebound signal. Alright, so we continue. Uh, so if we draw on the FIBO level, from here to here, okay, may testing 1760, uh, 61.8%. Alright, so required to close above this level, okay, to test the previous high of 1828. Also, we can see here the 38.2 level is also equal to this resistant level around 1730 all right so for fkli sideway trend no no much signal no much signal for the short term trend or the long term trend so we need to wait for a breakout uh at least the resistance will be at this 1730 level and then support will be at the previous low 1655 1655 okay so we wash out these two level this is for some, some summary for the FKI. Then let's move on to FCPO. <coughs> okay, FCPO, we look at the weekly chart first. Close with green because testing re rebound last week. But uh, for now, the weekly chart is still more to bearish. Just uh, a technical rebound from outside political band. Able to pull back, maybe testing 1280. Two, one, Okay, but it's still more to bearish, don't have confirmed signal of the rebound yet. Daily chart also was sent, testing rebound but not yet confirmed because it's still uh, below the middle line of Bollinger Band and then MACD testing to closing up but not yet confirmed. And then RSI testing 50 but not yet conf confirmed. So CPO is in a testing rebound but not yet confirmed the buy signal yet. But if you trade in short term, Short term, we can see already create a higher high and higher low and break the previous high, the last week high. So for the short term trend is slightly too bullish. All right. So if you are a short term trader, you can stick on, uh, you can prioritize on the buy signal. Okay. We can see MACD closing out above zero and then RSI also close, closing up. So for short term trend is uh, con continue to test re rebound, can look for the buy signal. Right, so if we see how much it can rebound and resume its uptrend, we draw a V ball from the recent swing here to here. One one nine four nine limit. Uh, okay, here. All right, so now it's testing at the eight point two level. So uh, required to close a above this 2144 61.8 level to trigger a rebound signal to 2265 okay so we watch out this daily chart sig signal the feeble le le level in daily chart so if you want to learn more about this technical analysis uh, we in progress to come out our new course so stay tuned to our channel all right and then we look at our chart also the same in testing rebound, all right, got higher high and higher low. Okay, so CPO summary is 
in testing rebound signal. Okay. Um, long term trend is still more to bearish, but short term trend is already testing rebound and then can look for the buy signal. Fundamentally, we continue to watch out the inventory data supply and demand. So the potential risk is that the CPO likely to hit 3 million inventory this year, which can be very bearish. So um, the upside is likely limited. So the rebound space may be it's hard to back to 3000 for now. All right. Then we move to crude oil. Okay, crude oil, the things we want to mention is that uh, during the head of November, okay, I got screenshot in our WhatsApp private group. Okay, in the no 5th of November, we actually shared this out. Uh, sorry, my picture is gone from my handphone because it's quite long ago. All right, so at that time, we already say uh, there is a double top signal in weekly chart. Alright, so the next target will be around 52. So the target is already hit and then the MSCD break below zero to confirm. Okay, so we'll, we'll be around here. So we switch to the weekly chart. Okay, we can see here the double the, the M shape, which is the double top signal here. Oh also this signal we got mentioned in our YouTube cha channel, our video sharing last two weeks, uh, the, the the first episode. Alright, we can men mention this double top signal and then now it's uh, the signal is hit. So the price range from the uh, the top to the bot to the neckline is around 12. So deduct with this 664, we get the number of 52. Alright, so the next target will be around 40. 40 will, will be the next double top pattern target. So the thing is, uh, like I mentioned before, this kind of chart pattern or technical signal is more accurate, more stronger in longer time frame. All right, meaning that the any technical signal in weekly chart is much more stronger and accurate compared to daily, hourly, and for on go on the, the 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 smaller time frame signal. All right, so we can see the weekly chart is more to bearish but with a possible technical rebound as RSI in oversaw. Daily chart also show the same. RSI in oversaw possible technical rebound in short term but it's still more to bearish required to close above this middle line of band to trigger further rebound signal. If we look at the hourly chart also the same. Lower high and lower low more to bearish but got the RSI bullish divergence here. Bullish divergence meaning that the RSI actually form higher low, but the price form lower low. All right. So meaning that <coughs> may have a technical rebound in short term, but just technical rebound. It's not uh, going going back to uptrend. All right. Crude oil fundamentally, we need to wash out the OPEC meeting and also the crude oil inventories. For now, more to bearish. We can see hourly, daily, weekly, all point to bearish, but RSI in oversaw may have a technical rebound in short term. This is for the summary for crude oil. And then we move to gold. Okay, gold is quite boring because a trend trader like me will avoid this kind of trend because we can see here uh, for the weekly chart it still move in a range 1167 to 1246. So if you are a range trader, you can trade between this range first. Uh. And then if we look at the daily chart, also, everything in neutral, in in around the middle line Bollinger Band in a side wave. I, I I draw a channel here, so not much signal for the for the gold. If you look at the hourly chart, um, hourly chart got a buy signal here. Actually, because it got higher high and higher low in a testing rebound signal. All right, but as as, as we can see here, the technical indicator is closing down. So um. For the short term trend, it's still sideways, but uh, in a rebound signal now, so we can prioritize on the buy signal first. But anything below 1220 uh, may likely trigger the bearish divergence signal. So, meaning that we can look for sell signal below this 1220. Okay, we can see here. Bearish divergence. 
Okay, so at last we look at the Dow Jones. Dow Jones Weekly is um, sideways to bearish, but it still move in between the Bollinger Band channel. So we see every time it's touch the, bot the bottom, it's come back. So here now, the Dow Jones is in at the critical support level. So we see here if the continue to break down, then the Bollinger Band likely to expand downside. So we can look for sell signal there. So Dow Jones Weekly, um, more to bearish but at a critical support level now so we watch out whether got rebound or break down this level all right and then we look at the daily chart the daily chart is also show the same more to bearish we can see here four days drop vs the one day up but near the critical support so maybe have a, a rebound from here <clears throat> if we look at the short term chart also more to bearish, but got a bit of uh, ISI bullish divergence here. So required to at least break above, close above this level, 24659 to trigger the rebound signal. So anything below the 24659, we look, uh, we prioritize on sell signal. And this will be our all the review for the, these five products. So we, again, at the conclusion, we do a summary for these five products. So for the FKLI, like I mentioned just now in the tri triangle sideways pattern, so for long term trend is no signal, but uh, short term trend, <coughs> we can look for the sell signal because um, the upside is really limited by the weak Dow Jones. Okay, so furthermore, we need to watch out the critical sub resistance level which is 1730. Uh, close above that, likely to trigger rebound signal. And also we entering December, which is a potential year and we've been addressing so we see whether continue to happen this year okay so for the cpa is bearish but short term trend testing rebound so for the long term trend trader uh no no buy sign signal yet still look for the sell signal but uh, for short term trader you can uh prioritize on buy signal okay then continue to watch out the supply and demand de data especially the mpob um which we will announce on this this 10th of december Okay, the inventory data. For crude oil, everything in bearish, but with a possible short-term technical rebound. So now we stick for sell signal first, because everything shows us that the crude oil is going down, and then we see whether got uh, the ISI co closing up. Okay, for the gold sideway, no signal for the trend trader, but the short term is slightly bullish, <clears throat> but the ISI bearish divergence. Meaning that we look for the buy signal for now, but if we see that got if the short term trend got a uh, lower high and lower low wave, then we change to a sell signal below the one two two zero. So one below one two zero, we look for the sell signal. Above that, we look for the buy signal. Okay, and then for the Dow Jones in the technical correction, and then the support level we mentioned just now. Whether it's continue break or sustain up above that level, so the for the short term trend is still more to bearish, prioritize on sell signal, and then see whether got ISI bullish divergence to confirm uh, whether got rebound signal there. So FK uh, FKI sell, Dow Jones sell, crude oil sell, um, and then the gold is more to buy first, and then the CPO is more to buy for the short term. So three sell to to buy for the short term trader, but it's not certain because the market is always chan, chan, changing. All right. So we see whether the market changing the direction next week. So uh, to receive more above to the potential market change or the news or any new trading strategy, just follow and subscribe our free channel. It's free. Okay. We got YouTube, Facebook, Telegram channel. So uh, it's below our. We, we provide the link below this video so feel free to click in and join and also can just like and share our channel to your friends all right so let please let us know comment or pn us if you have any other question about future trading so this will be the end for today so we see you guys next week thank you for you guys this week um see you guys next week we review on more future trade trading on these five products thank you guys thank you